Am I the asshole? For not letting my neighbor's kids play in my yard until they pay to fix damage to my house. My father bought the house in the 80s and held onto it as different developments sprung up around it. I inherited it three years ago and have been living in it since. I have two acres while my surrounding neighbors have maybe one to an acre if they're lucky. The house is fairly small two bed two bath so I have a very large front and backyard. I use maybe one fifth of the backyard as a garden and the rest is basically an empty field. I've always loved kids so I was happy to let my neighbors kids play in the field with the understanding that they would respect the property. Most of the kids are great, very respectful and understand that this is not their backyard. The problem is with my neighbors to the right. They have five kids F1, M3, M5, F5 and M7 who generally run around unsupervised. They don't come to my yard to play very often unless the other kids are playing soccer or baseball. The seven-year-old is in charge as much as a seven-year-old can be but obviously he can't replace parental supervision. Five days ago the kids were playing baseball and he must have lost track of the five-year-olds at some point because when I came home from work I found their name sharpied onto my wall name and name were here along with some rude drawings a man pooping, several piles of poop, that sort of thing all along the right side of the house. I found their parents the next day and asked them to pay for the paint I'll need to cover it up, they were very offended accused me of lying and said they weren't going to pay. If this had been all I probably would have let it slide and covered the paint since it would only be like $20 but later that day M5 decided it would be funny to throw rocks at my house. There are several dents in the siding where the rocks hit and two of my windows are broken. From what I've been quoted to fix it it's about $800 $900 worth of damage. I talked to the parents who accused me of doing it myself to make their kids look bad. I've decided those five are not allowed to use my yard until the damage is paid for, which I think is more than fair. When they came by this morning to play soccer with the other kids I politely explained the situation and said they would have to leave as they aren't allowed to play here anymore. The seven-year-old was very upset more sad than a temper tantrum which is understandable but the five-year-olds were very angry. About an hour later their mom came by and cussed me out, yelling at my doorstep about how I'm a horrible person who hates children, because I'm bitter and can't find a husband. I'm standing my ground either way but a few other parents came by and seemed a little frustrated by my explanation as to why that family is no longer welcome which is making me question things. Am I the asshole? For banning them from playing here? Added to answer some common concerns. I will be installing cameras, I dug my dad's old trail cams out of the garage so I'll put those up either tonight or tomorrow. I am aware of the liability issues with kids playing in my yard, I'm willing to risk it. I don't want to put up a fence, I think they're ugly. The property line is clearly marked. I will not be banning the entire neighborhood unless I absolutely have to. Added to I also have a meeting scheduled with my attorney to discuss the possibility of drawing up a liability waiver for the parents to sign, forgot to put that in the last edit lol. Not the asshole, not one bit. I'm worried that this might escalate and the family will cause further damage to your property out of anger. I'd get some cameras set up if I were you, to protect yourself and so you have definitive proof if when there is a next time. Not the asshole. Let those destructive little kids play in the yards of the of the families who are frustrated your yard is now off limits. Put up cameras and when you catch property destructing in progress, call the cops and then sue the parents. Even five-year-olds should know better than to do what those kids did. Poor kids, what inadequate parents they have. Not the asshole. Your response was very reasonable. Have you considered putting up a security camera? It may be helpful if you have any further issues. Not the asshole, but you need to be very careful. As someone else suggested, you need cameras desperately. There is no telling what can and will go on at any time while kids are playing on your property. If someone gets hurt, you get sued. Have the kids work off the damage by doing yard work or have them clean and paint it themselves. With cameras, please. Not the asshole but I'd sue for damages because with parents like those, I doubt they'll ever pay the money. Not the asshole. You damage something, you aren't able to use it anymore. You're being more than generous by offering to let them continue as long as the paint is paid for. Foolish. When their child breaks his arm, they will be after your homeowner's insurance. These are not reasonable people. Not the asshole, this is what small claims court is for. These people have lost their collective minds. Just call the police and let them deal with the family. I believe property damage is illegal. You're the asshole for not calling the police. Are you really just going to eat $800 and not allow them in the yard?
How about they pay and they're still not allowed over, and if they come you call for trespass. Not the asshole, the parents should fix whatever the kids did. It's great that you love kids and are providing them a place to play, but you are also assuming liability if anyone gets hurt. Not the asshole. Stop letting kids play in your yard. You see how parents react when their child causes damage to your property, now imagine the damage to their own body. You would be held liable for that. Get some cameras and stop being so nice. Not the asshole. Time for fences and cameras. Not the asshole but I'd make it a rule now that no kids are allowed on your property. It's a liability issue along with the property damaged. If those kids happen to get hurt on your property, you will have to pay out. Not the asshole. Letting people, particularly unsupervised children, onto your yard is a liability. Just don't do it. Not the asshole. But I do think that you are insane. No way would I allow any children to play on my property, especially baseball. What happens if one of them is beamed in the head by a line drive? Guess whose homeowner's insurance will be tapped for hospital bills? Even worse if the claim is denied and you are required to pay out of pocket. Every day that you allow unsupervised children on your property you are playing Russian roulette with your financial future. Not the asshole. Don't allow the kids to play on your property. You're creating another mess for yourself. Not the asshole, but it's disappointing to see from your edits your unwillingness to be sensible. You say you're willing to risk it, but the liability issue alone would be enough to destroy you, and with the type of neighbors you have it's a serious concern. I'm sorry, but you're asking for trouble here. You're letting a bunch of kids, literally babies and toddlers play on your property without supervision. They injure themselves on your property, who is getting the blame? You. Unless any of the kids' parents are present I wouldn't let them play there. Does it suck? Yes. But they do have their own gardens to play in. One two acres plenty of space not the asshole for banning them, but I think you need to think more logically about any potential risk factors you might have overlooked previously. Also, get cameras. Not the asshole. Cameras would be a good idea but sadly you may need to put up a fence and not let anyone use the property. When other parents come by to ask why I explain that children vandalized your house and after the parents refuse to accept responsibility, pay and give assurance that it won't happen again your hand was forced. Turn this from an entitled family I know not all the children are but parents and twins against you to a neighborhood all frustrated at a dodgy pair of parents. Stop letting kids play on your property before you lose your home. When, not if, a kid gets hurt on your property, you will get sued. What's to stop these parents from telling the kids to get hurt on your property and then turn around and blame you? I'd shut the whole thing down tbh. Nta. A 7 year old watching kids that young is unsafe. That's neglect. If you don't call CPS and anything happens you could also be liable. Report it before one of those kids gets hurt or killed due to their parents neglecting them. You may think fences are ugly, but good fences make good neighbors. And, while I think you will rue the day you let the neighborhood children play in your yard you've already had an issue with the next door neighbors if you are going to continue you better up your liability insurance. And lastly, if in the US, letting strangers onto your property could result in a host of legal issues forced easements, adverse possession etc. You really should speak with a lawyer about the dangers of you letting your property being a neighborhood playground. Call the police and file a police report. Then call your homeowner's insurance and turn in the report so they can go after your neighbor's homeowner's insurance. I suggest cameras and offense. Unfortunately the behavior of few will mean nobody can play in your yard anymore especially due to liability issues. Not the asshole but get a CCTV. Lesson to be learned do not allow access to your property unless you are willing to incur the potential cost of damage. In addition, I would think about potential liability should one of those children become injured or disabled while on your property. It is sad, but this is a litigation-oriented society and people will take advantage of kindness. Not the asshole but you are setting yourself up for failure. It only takes one kid to get injured and suddenly you're guilty and on the receiving end of a million dollar lawsuit, that you will lose. You need to stop them playing on your property or be prepared to lose it one day. If any of those children get hurt on your property you are responsible. Not the asshole get a fence put up and or put up no trespassing signs all along the property lines. It's not about being rude to the kids it's about protecting yourself. You need to fence in your property, you have a large legal problem if someone gets hurt on your property. Also post legal no trespassing signs to protect yourself. Not the asshole. Stand your ground. Actions have consequences.
The neighborhood parents may be a bit distraught because they are afraid that your yard isn't going to be the neighborhood playground anymore. Honestly, I probably would make that the case. It seems that parents are sending their children to your lot to play unsupervised. Should something unfortunate happen, you might be liable. At the very least, check that out.